theorize the equation and put it on your calculator. Oh god. Hey guys, Easy Tech over here. Data Quest might be a mystery, but this week we are going to unravel it. Let's get to it. So what the hell is Data Quest? Well, is this thing right here. You create a new document and what the hell do you use this for? When a teacher asks you to take some measurements and uh, to calculate the slope of a line, well, you have the graphic here and you have the values here. You input the values, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you input the y values, and you have 10, 20, 30, 40, and you go to the graphic section, and finally, you have the line, and to know the slope of the line, menu, and analyze, curve fit, and uh, linear. You have the slope right here, you have the error, and r and r squared. Thank you, and that's it for this week. The hell? Yeah, that, that's it. But you didn't teach anything. But I, I showed you how to do it. But what the hell is linearize? I don't even know what that is. Uh, you're right, uh, but that's it. What? Come on! Okay, let's explain. Linearization. It's not easy, but with a simple explanation, you can understand. For example, you're in a bridge, and uh, of course you want to speed run in a windshield. And you have the freefall equation. To know how long to wait until you speed, you need to calculate the acceleration of gravity. Well, the height we can measure as well as the time. However, we need to know the acceleration of gravity. To do this, we can do some measurements and linearize it. What does this mean? Well, you want to know the equation of free fall as a linear equation. So in here, we have the y as the height, the slope as one half of the acceleration of gravity, and the x the time squared, and the b equals zero, of course. Finally, if we match the slope to one half of the gravity, we can calculate how much exactly is the acceleration of gravity. And if you like this video, just give it a like and to subscribe, just click here.